Hey guys, this is Dave Meyer with ACS Organic Studios. Thank you for joining us today as we continue this multi-part series on painting Robot Gilliman. Today we're beginning part two. But before I continue, I'd like to ask that you hit that subscribe button. Hit that, it means so much to us. We're a brand new channel, we're just getting started. It really helps us a lot. It'd even be better if you hit that like button as well. So go ahead and do that and we can get going on this next video. So this video is gonna move quick. We're going to cover a lot of different parts. They're small parts. We're going to get started here in just a second. We're jumping in like right now. Okay, Calador Sky. That's the uh, first paint that we're going to be using to start painting on the backpack here. Uh, so, just taking it slow, trying to just cover that little area that is on Gilliman's backpack here. Call that a life support backpack. Uh, not exactly sure. Um, anyway, that is a Calador Sky we're using. Uh, and we're just going to go through and just try to fill in. But we're trying to avoid uh, hitting the trim because that's going to be painted gold later. So, anyway. So there's the first thing. Now, here's that uh, shoulder pad. It's the Eagle shoulder pad uh, that we saw the first coat in the last video, which is part one. Putting a second coat onto it. Uh, going through and just adding a second coat. Again, it's the same mixture with the, uh, on the gold. It's the Oricom Armor Gold and with the, uh, as well as the uh, airbrush, uh, Vallejo Airbrush Floor Improver. Uh, still the same mix, so. I think I did, if I'm not mistaken, I believe I did three coats of the Auric Armor Gold uh, in this case. So, uh, but came in, filled in nicely, and then we'll hit it with a wash later. So we did the first half of this. This is the part that goes on top of the backpack. It's called, I call it wing tail uh, There's an actual term for this. But again, we're still using that same mixture in the paint. We're covering the other side that we started in the first video for this one. Again, this one only needed maybe uh, only needed one coat uh, because of everything I do after after I do the first coat. It only needed one coat uh, of the uh, of this paint. Had a nice good coverage uh, and a lot of detail. So, uh, but yeah, I only did one coat on this particular piece. So, but yeah, we're going to hit this with a couple other different techniques um, later later on kind of bring a little more attention to it. So now we're back with the backpack. We're gonna add a little shade, techless blue. We're not gonna cover the entire area that we just painted blue. What we're trying to do is trying to make it look, uh, you know, brighten up certain parts of it to add shading to the overall. Uh, if you look closely, uh, by this point I have already added the gold trim and that's the Auric Armor Gold. I didn't record that. Um, it was a very short, short piece. Uh, it didn't take me long to do. But yeah, that's Auric Armor Gold on the trim, as if you can see. Uh, the, apologize for the camera, it was out of focus at that point. So that's Auric Armor Gold as a trim. And we're only, we're not covering uh, the entire area with blue because we're trying to represent highlighting here. So, uh, and we're just covering that portion that would represent light hitting it directly. We're actually going to hit that with a third blue paint um, later on. So, but here, that's all I'm doing is just providing uh, a lighter blue to represent uh, highlighting. So, and if anybody wants to comment exactly what that's called on for Gilliman on the backpack, please comment below. Um, I'd like to know. Um, I can't remember. I know the armor's called Armor Fate, but I cannot remember the name. And I'm calling it backpack, it's not a school backpack. Anyway, so back to the painting. Uh, so, and, and I did have to hit it with uh, two coats of the highlight, but as you can see, it does provide a little uh, shading for the highlight. So, and I'll hit it with a brighter blue later on. So, uh, now in this part, I didn't show you when I painted the face, the Kislev flesh, and yes, it is the airbrush type. But I did hit the face 
with one coat of the Kizzle of Flesh. Uh, it's an airbrush. I didn't airbrush ready. I didn't airbrush the head. I just painted it on. It was thin enough because I wanted a very light tone to it. So now what I did was I mixed Tamiya uh, paint thinner with it, or the Tamiya thinner, excuse me, with the uh, wash, and it allowed me to work up to a darker skin tone. The client in this particular job wanted a <clears throat> darker skin tone on, on Gilliman, almost African American or Native American skin tone, and that's what I'm working my way up to. So, so that's the winged halo uh, that uh, Gilliman has on the back of his, uh, behind his head on the model. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to hit it with a wash of Reichland Flesh Lake. And uh, so we're going to cover the whole uh, piece with that. And what that does is going to shade the gold and make it uh, just darken it up and allow it to look a little bit more uh, natural, if you will. Uh, there's some more steps that we're going to add to this particular piece because it is, uh, it is a, uh, a point of reference or something everybody sees besides a flaming sword. All right, so here's uh, the head again. And we have to work up to the color tone we want. So uh, again, I'm applying another coat of wash of the flesh wash from Army Painter uh, on top of uh, the, the coat. Now it's already dry, so I added another wash and I'm just gradually working up to the tone that I want. And again, the client in this particular job wanted a darker skin tone, an almost Native American or African American skin tone. So and that's what he wanted. He's gonna get what he wants. So, um, so now we're going to go with painting his hair and uh, we're going with which is regular Abaddon black mixed with water. So uh, we're just going to go down and just start painting the hair black. And in this case, which is weird, uh, because you can almost see the shading on the face. Now it's hard to see when we're actually drawing painting on the face with the wash, but when we start painting the hair, <laughs> the camera picks up the details on the face. That's just just the camera that I'm using at this particular time. So. Anyway, so that's just Abaddon Black mixed with water, and uh, we're just kind of following the lines, taking a nice, slow time of uh, painting uh, the hair for uh, Gilliman in this case. It's looking pretty good. You can see the face. It's nice detail, nice shading. And all that is is one coat of the Kislev Flesh Airbrush uh, Ready. And then also, it's, it's, I think this is probably the second coat of the wash. So here I go. Here's the third coat uh, that we're applying. So, and in this case, all we're going to do is concentrate on the darker areas, under the cheekbone, around the, uh, uh, on the crown of the head, uh, those areas, also the eye sockets. We're going to concentrate and that provides a little more depth to the, uh, uh, to the, mod, to the face. Uh, and it, provide, it makes it look like it was painted on, but it's, it's a real easy way of, of shading in your faces. So. And that's pretty much it as far as these small components go. Hey guys, I wanna ask that you guys subscribe to our channel. Go ahead and hit that like button, hit subscribe, because we'll be having more content coming up real soon. Thank you for watching. See you next time.